The fate of Evictus in Black Ops Cold War. This is the question that everyone has been having since launch and I think today we finally have the unfortunate answer. So obviously within the ending of Tagda Toten, Victus was sent into the Dark Aether, which is essentially the embodiment of Hell. In there they started to corrupt and mutate. Well as you guys know there is an easter egg on D-Machina in which a giant monster can be seen roaming around in the dark ether. We learn that these giant monsters are referred to as elder gods by the lost souls trapped within the dark ether. Now this appears to be some sort of tree creature and I've talked about this in prior videos but a huge thank you to Magua over on Twitter because he showed some up close shots of the model and it is referred to as a summoner zombie and as you can see the elder gods are literally made up of people of the deceased trapped within the dark ether. Now this really reminds me to the boss fight that we had on the final Reich in World War 2 Zombies and obviously it's heavily rumoured that Sledgehammer Games had big influence on this game and this boss literally really resembles this boss. Both were made up of literally dead body parts and heads and stuff like that. Both are so similar to each other and the victors have been trapped within the dark ether since the beginning of the brand new universe that was rebooted in in Tagda Toten. So they have been within the Dark Aether from its very creation and by that point they would have started to corrupt and mutate a bunch. We do obviously have this intel on the Machina that talks about a woman called Barbara. Now she's been in the Dark Aether for quite some time but obviously nowhere near how long Victus have been in there and the effects of the Dark Aether have meant that she has started to corrupt and she started to grow an alligator mouth and long nails and this really reminds me of the Apothecans and the Keepers that similarly had alligator-like mouths and long nails and they too were corrupted. So it leads me to believe since Victors are probably somewhere still within the Dark Aether, they have most likely turned into a giant monster. I don't think we're ever going to physically see our Victors characters again. If we see them again, it may be in the form of a boss fight or something like that. And maybe they make up the Elder Gods themselves since as we were saying, they are made up of literally people. Because everything within the Dark Aether is starting to merge together, as we see, for example, the Wonder Fizz has merged with the Juggernog machine and the Speed Cola machine. The Dark Aether is causing everything to bleed and mash together as one. So that is the fate of the Victus crew. So all four of our Victus characters could have merged together as one being, one entity. Now we do have an Easter egg on D Machina that seems to be our Victus characters trying to talk to our crew. So as you guys know, before you turn on power on the map and you're wandering around in the dark in the particle accelerator room, you hear some creepy whispers and no one could really make out what they were saying. However, thanks to a user on Reddit called Super Ericsson, he did the genius thing of reversing the audio, a common technique that Trek used to hide audio. And I'll play that reversed audio for you right now. So this character says, help me, I don't want to be inside here. He lies. We are here. And I feel like, as we were saying, this is our Victus crew or one of our Victus crew trying to communicate. And I think they are trying to manipulate our characters into setting them free from the dark ether. But like I just stated, the Victus characters are no longer Victus. We can throw away that word. They have been within the dark ether for eons. And by that point, they can no longer be referred to as Victus because they are not the same entity. Entity. They are something else entirely and are likely to be evil. And I think a really interesting plot that could unfold within the DLC is what if our Victus characters try and manipulate our characters that we play as to set them free from the Dark Aether. And when we set them free from the Dark Aether, they may unleash all of the evil from the Dark Aether instead. I mean, this was literally the plot that we saw on Shadows of Evil and Revelations with the Shadow Man escaping 
and we could see a very similar thing unfold here. We do obviously know that Dr. Monty and the Shadow Man reformed on Tag de Toten and was sent into the Dark Aether. So, like we see from the writing on the wall on Nagdoronto, and it says the Accursed One will rise again. And it seems like there is a hierarchy within the Dark Aether where there's different factions and everyone seems to be commanded as an army. And I think they are all working for the first one, to be honest. So, maybe the first one is trying to use the Victus characters to do its bidding. I think this would be an awesome storyline thing to expand upon. Now, in terms of when they say he lies, I think this is very obviously referring to Richthofen. Obviously, Richthofen was labelled as Teddy is a liar, and on Tag to Toten, our Victus characters thought that they were saving the universe, which technically they were, but obviously they were following Richthofen's commands because Stullinger and Richthofen could communicate telepathically, and they thought that all of their wishes would be granted, but in turn, they were lied to by Richthofen. They were manipulated. They didn't know that they were just going to be sent into the Dark Aether and used as a pawn to save the universe, which I guess is for the greater good, but now they have been within the Dark Aether and they are probably really resentful of Richthofen. Obviously, we have Eddie in this new rebooted universe since him and Samantha stepped through into this new universe, and he could potentially be this character that we see stalking Samantha in D Machina's intro cutscene, and I'm wondering if maybe Stullinger, who has now probably started to corrupt, is still able to communicate to Eddie from within the Dark Aether telepathically, and it could drive Eddie to become insane again and start doing a lot of evil stuff, maybe he's working for Omega Group. So yeah, let me know what you think of all of this down in the comment section down below. Obviously, Eddie will show up within future intel that will be released to the game, and also within the future storyline. We don't really know how that's going to play out. We will just have to wait and see. I might make a video in the future talking about how Eddie could play into the storyline, but I think there is some big significance in terms of the Victus characters. I think there's going to be some sort of connection between Victus and Eddie because of Stoolinger, and obviously we have this quote on Classified that I'll play for you right now. Is this thing on? Rick Toffin! Hey, Rick Toffin! You've been gone from my head a really long time! I gotta be honest, Freaking out a bit, man. It's it's so quiet. I can actually hear myself think. You know what that's like? It's not nice at all. So, listen, buddy, old pal, we gotta talk. You sent us here, of all places, but you forgot to tell us what to do. It's dark. It's damp. It's geez, just really filthy. I, I think the roaches are crawling with roaches. How is that even possible? Wait, shoot, am I even talking to the right Rick Toffin? Oh, you could be the other one, right? Or the other, other one. Yeah, you know what? Just, just go talk to your Rick Toffin pals at the hoity-toity Ricky Gang Clubhouse and find out what the f we're supposed to be doing! Obviously, I've talked about this in plenty of videos, but basically, when Victus was sent into the Dark Aether, they were not given a quest, and Stollinger was like, you haven't given us a quest, we don't know what to do. This place is dark, damp, crawling with roaches, which describes the Dark Aether perfectly because it's a disgusting place. And obviously, he tried to contact Primus Richtofen, but accidentally contacted Ultimus Richtofen Unclassified. However, he says, oh god, you could be the other one, or the other other one, and I'm wondering if the other other one is referring to Eddie, which leads me to believe that there might be some sort of telepathical connection between the two still. Anyways, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Let me know your thoughts and theories down below. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe if you're not here for the latest and greatest Call of Duty news and information. So anyways, thank you for watching and uh, bye.